Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Hugh Freeze, the Auburn Tigers, make a massive splash hiring Derek Nix to come in, coach the running backs, and the offensive coordinator for the Auburn Tigers heading into 2024. And when you begin to evaluate this hire, I think it's really important to go back to the conversation that we had when Montgomery was out at Auburn, and that was, what does Hugh Freeze want in his next offensive coordinator? And I think he wanted a couple things. One, Hugh Freeze knew that he was going to be calling the plays in 2024. That's probably still going to be the case. So I think when Hugh Freeze was looking at what he wants in the next offensive coordinator, I think he wanted an elite recruiter, and he wanted a guy, more importantly, that saw the offense the same way as Hugh Freeze did. And obviously, Derek Nix and Hugh Freeze having familiarity with each other is going to be massive. Right? You look back at the Montgomery tenure, short tenure at Auburn that one year, it seemed like Hugh Freeze and Phil Montgomery just never really saw the offense the same way. There were a lot of clashes. Hugh Freeze was kind of vocal about, I think, the the poor game planning for the offense and the offensive side of the football. You bring in a guy like Derek Nix, who's an elite recruiter, who I think sees the offense the same way as Hugh Freeze. And most importantly, I think Derek Nix was probably the candidate all along. Right when Montgomery was out, you started hearing the rumblings of a guy like Derek Nix. But I think even more importantly over the last week with Nick Saban retiring at Alabama, I think Hugh Freeze saw an opportunity for Auburn to really emerge as one of the top recruiting programs in the SEC. You take a look at why Alabama has been so successful recruiting the last 10 years. I mean, the Nick Saban, the Nick Saban attraction, right? You go to Alabama, you get developed to go to the NFL. That was a massive selling point for Alabama. That selling point is no longer there for Alabama. And you look at the SEC landscape, you look at the recruiting conversations. I think Hugh Freeze sees this Auburn program as emerging and kind of grabbing a stranglehold on some of the SEC recruiting. And so I think Derek Nix, after the Nick Saban news, even became a more attractive, attractive hire for Hugh Freeze and this Auburn staff. I'm a massive fan of it. Want to dive into two things. One, talk about Derek Nix, what he brings to the table as a coach from his time at Ole Miss, and more importantly, what recruiting is going to look like for the Auburn Tigers over the next couple of years. Before we get into it, just want to say thank you to you guys. It has been really just an absolute blast talking this program, whether it's the transfer portal, whether it's the high school recruiting, whether it's the coordinator hires. Can't thank you guys enough for all the support you guys have shown the boys. One, if you guys do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And more importantly, would love to hear your guys' thoughts, opinions in the comment section. We'll chop it up there. I continue to say it. The best part about doing this is talking ball, learning from you guys in the, in the comment section. Appreciate all the support you guys have shown. And without further ado, let's get into Derek Nix. And I want to have the conversation, I think, which is the most attractive conversation for the Auburn fans. And that is what is recruiting going to look like for the Auburn Tigers over the next couple of years, right? When Alabama loses Nick Saban, I think that massively hurts the recruiting efforts. You're already seeing guys hit the transfer portal. You're already seeing guys decommit from Alabama and you look at the recruiting trail. If you follow the recruiting trail closely, which I know many of you guys do, I mean, Auburn and Alabama, they battle it out for a lot of these top prospects coming from the Southeastern United States. And I think Auburn and Hugh Freeze see themselves as a program starting to win those battles. And I think it first has to to do with, one, Hugh Freeze is an elite talent attractor, right? I mean, this is why Auburn brought Hugh Freeze in to attract talent and get it going on the recruiting trail. But more importantly, who did Alabama hire as their next head coach? Kalen DeBoer, coming over from Washington, who – I mean, Kalen DeBoer is a phenomenal X's and O's coach. We saw that during his two years at Washington – what he's not very good at, or at least what he's not proven at, is what he can do on the recruiting trail. I mean, Washington had their two best seasons in program history the last two years. Washington did not crack the top 30 in either recruiting rankings. And now you, Kalen DeBoer takes this job at Alabama with zero recruiting chops in this part of the country. He has no experience here. And so one, Kalen DeBoer bringing over a staff as well that has not been a very good recruiting staff. And on top of that, does not have very much experience recruiting this area of the country. And I think Hugh Freeze looks at that situation and said, I think Auburn can make a massive move on the recruiting trail, kind of passing Alabama as one of those top programs in the SEC from the, from the talent attraction point, from the recruiting point. And I think most people know who are listening to this, what does college football start with? Yes, you need to 
be good on the X's and O's and you need to be able to develop talent. It starts with talent acquisition. And I think Hugh Freeze sees this Auburn program as taking a massive step. So when he was looking at hiring this next offensive coordinator, he said, I want to get an elite, elite recruiter that's going to help us win some of these recruiting battles. Derek Nix was the ace recruiter for Ole Miss. He's from the state of Alabama. This, to me, is a perfect fit in terms of winning some of these recruiting battles over the next couple of years. You take a look at Derek Nix and what he's done on the recruiting trail I mean, extremely impressive. This is an Ole Miss program that once Hugh Freeze left was not a program that recruited the high school ranks extremely well when they were making some of these moves. I mean, guys like Suntreen Perkins, Jerry Ely, Aiden Williams. I mean, Derek Nix was the primary recruiter on a lot of the top talent that has come to Ole Miss over the last couple of years. So one, Derek Nix, a phenomenal recruiter. But I also want to have the conversation and not just focus on what he can do and what Auburn can do on the recruiting trail. Derek Nix is a phenomenal football coach as well. And there's two things I want to talk about. One, Derek Nix personally, he works with the running backs. Ole Miss has a very, very good run of running backs during his time as the running backs coach. He transitions to the wide receiver coach and they develop guys like Elijah Moore, Dontario Drummond. They did a phenomenal job developing wide receivers and Derek Nix as a position coach at running backs and wide receivers is extremely proven in terms of what he can do in terms of player development. And I think the most important part and the part that largely was really missing for Auburn in 2023 is Derek Nixon, Hugh Freeze know each other. They know that what they want to do on offense, they see offense in a very similar way. You didn't have that with coach Montgomery last year. I think Hugh Freeze wanted to be able to be that head coach, turn the keys over to a guy like Montgomery, and it just didn't work. The offensive scheme was bland. It was boring. It was not the Hugh Freeze offense that many of us expected when Hugh Freeze took the job. And so now Hugh Freeze taking over the play calling duties, he wants an offensive coordinator that can help him game plan, see the offense the same way, develop some game script. Derek Nix can do that, and he wants a guy that can get it done on the recruiting trail. Derek Nix can do that as well. So you ask me why I think this is a massive hire for Auburn. I think it starts with recruiting. I think Auburn sees the sees the pathway for it to be one of the premier recruiting programs in the SEC with Nick Saban leaving Alabama. I think Derek Nick certainly helps that. I think he does a goes a long way in replacing the the charisma of a guy like Cadillac Williams. A lot of the the same comments you saw about Cadillac Williams and being a player's coach, those are the stuff you read about Derek Derek Nix during his time at Ole Miss. And so I think that checks the box. And again, from a from a pure coaching standpoint, Derek Nix has done a phenomenal job at Ole Miss. He's learned from one of the best offensive minds in Lane Kiffin. I think when you look at certain boxes that you wanted to see Hugh Freeze check with this offensive coordinator hire, a lot of those boxes are checked. But what I am most excited for is an Alabama native, one of the best recruiters on the trail in the SEC, Derek Nix, coming to Auburn with Nick Saban leaving Alabama. This sets up Auburn in a massive, massive position to really get it done on the recruiting trail. In terms of how this staff is going to look, I wouldn't mind seeing Ken Austin get elevated to that quarterback's coach role and continue to work on the development of the quarterback, something that you didn't see happen in 2023. But Derek Nix, I think this is a home run hire. I think you're going to see Auburn get it done on the I think you're going to see a coach that can develop players, but most importantly, see the offense the same way as Hugh Freeze does. Big fan of it. Would love to hear how you guys are feeling in the comments section. Appreciate all the support you guys have shown the boys. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll talk to y'all later.